Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Just relax. You don't have to stand. We are before the blessed sign. This, this is the real presence of Jesus. So we shall come before Jesus, asking him to pray and intercede and help us, particularly those who have asked us to pray for them. And we are praying especially for those with cancer, for those undergoing depression, for those who are terminally ill and for their healing. We pray as well for uh, the souls of Gloria Moyarzo, Andy Novak, Sam Masola, Nick Masola, and Ed Novak. We pray for the well-being of the Hezon family, um, the families of uh, Marcelo and Ophelia Pasco, and the astronomer family. Let's come before Jesus and pray that uh, there will be world peace as well. Let's all be here. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be your holy and magnificent conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, in His angels and His saints.
Good evening and welcome to Our Lady of Perpetual Health Catholic Church. As we come together to celebrate the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time, our processional hymn is number 446, Amazing Grace. Let us greet our pastor and celebrant, Father Andre Fierro, and join in the celebration of the Eucharist. Please stand. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, Jesus sends us out to proclaim the reign of God in our midst to every man, woman, and child through both word and action. From the times we have not been God's instruments of love, peace, and unity, we ask for our Lord's pardon and healing. And we say, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have raised this sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, and all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells within you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies as well, through his Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. But if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. when we pray. 
Earlier this morning, I was trying to figure out what words the Lord would want for me to speak to you about. And I had no idea, just no idea. And then as I was praying, I got hold of a book. And it's a book. It says, keep it simple. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, daily meditations for 12 step beginnings and renewal. Whoa, I said, hmm, this looks good. Now let me get the perspective of alcoholics <laughs> and addicts, whatever addictions we've got. And then as I opened, I chanced upon this beautiful insight. And let me read what it says. An alcoholic writing. Often in the past, we acted like we didn't need anyone. It takes courage to let others help us. As we get better, our courage grows. We invite people into our lives. We help others, and we let others help us. We will learn to let others help us if we work our program, if we face our demons without fear. Why? Because we need others to stay sober. We need others to stay sober. When we have a problem, we talk about it in our group. Of course, they're talking about, he's talking about his AA group. When we need a shoulder to cry on, we call a friend or our sponsor. Over time, our relationships become one of the biggest rewards of recovery. And he says, When in your life did you need help but didn't ask for it? When in your life did you need help but didn't ask for it? How would have it made, how would have it been different? if I had asked for help. And then it ends with a prayer. And it says, Higher power, of course it's the Lord. Higher power, help me to see my need for others as a test. A test to see if I'll be brave enough and wise enough to ask for help when I need it. Let us go back to the Gospel reading. I chose this because the Gospel reading speaks about God's intervention through the help of others, through the help of the people He has chosen to minister to the needs of the rejects of society, the poor, the sick, the dying, the sinners, the rejects of society. And what is amazing too is the fact that Jesus says, as you enter the house, greet the host, your host, peace, peace be with you. So they are bringing peace. And what is this peace all about? It's about the love of God. There is no other way for us to experience peace of mind, heart, and soul unless we have the love of God. And this, brothers and sisters, is what Jesus is trying to speak to us about. You would need a community 
you would need your brothers and sisters to help you out if you are sick and if you are addicted to things or stuff whatever it is that you're addicted to that means you are s-i-c-k and you need a god who loves you and only those who have experienced how it is to be down and almost out those are the real disciples of jesus because they are the ones who would be able to proclaim that there is a god who loves and who heals and forgives is it not and so today brothers and sisters the lord is also telling us one important thing if you want to minister to your brothers and sisters do not do it alone get the help of other people because with the help of other people the wolves the demons that you yourself are fighting would not have the power because you have your brothers and your sisters to hang on to as they pray for you and support you in your own struggles and it is not for your vain glory that you will realize that when you let go and you bring nothing with you and you realize that your human resources your talents and skills and your giftedness they have limits so when you put all these things together with your own brothers and sisters helping you then the glory of god will be manifested because it is called teamwork it is called god together with the community helping those who are hungry for love for healing for forgiveness for a new life let me end it has always been my desire and i am just you know verbalizing this at prayer the first time that i came here to calistoga I had sat down with many different kinds of people who are hurting and are in pain, both coming from the Hispanic community and also from the Anglo and the English-speaking community. Many are hurting, and I'm all alone. And as I pray, it just dawned on me many, many times over, Andre, ask for help from others. Andre, get support groups going because this is what will help your community. Many are hurting. You cannot do it alone. You and I, and the Lord told me and showed me in Scripture, Matthew 18, 20, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So I just pray this is a desire, and the Lord does not give us any desire for nothing. The Lord must be speaking, but I don't know how it's done. If you think that you are willing to sacrifice, to be a help to others, speak to me. We can form different support groups for those who are grieving, for addicts, for alcoholics, 
Oh, my Lord, you should have listened to many of the guys who have come to me crying their hearts out. Father, it is so difficult to let go of this. I know, I know. And I hold their hand and we pray together. And I say, Alcoholics Anonymous, where are you? <laughs> so pray, brothers and sisters. We can do it together. We can be a team for Jesus so that we can be healers to one another. That's what Jesus said. Heal and then proclaim the good news. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, and for all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God from God. Consubstantial with the Father, through him, him all things were made. For us, for us men and for our salvation, he came, he came down from heaven. He by the Holy Spirit was in the time of the Virgin Mary, and he became man. For our, our sake, he was crucified and the conscious life. He, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. scriptures. He ascended into the land and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come before our loving Father empty handed. We come before him confident that he will provide and he will teach us how to depend on him for help. That believers everywhere find comfort and nourishment in the church. Let us praise the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who call, are called to leadership in government and civil service find renewed help in the works of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That civility, mutual respect, and gentleness prevail in government and politics. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That as we celebrate Independence Day this week, we remember our dependence on God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that all who share in this Eucharistic feast nourish one another in faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we now pray for our personal intentions. We pray especially for our brothers and sisters who are hurting who are grieving, who are in pain, who are sick, and who are lost. Members of our own parish who need help. Father in heaven, use us as instruments of your healing, of your love. Teach us to proclaim that you are alive in our midst, that you care about us, that you want to save us from slavery to sin. And you want us to change our lives for the better. All these we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
And let's continue to pray for our Catholic Church that we may be truly be a hospital, a hospital for God's people. Our second collection is for Peter Spence. Um, Peter Spence is not related to Jim Hanks. It's just a joke. Nobody got it. <laughs> Peter Spence. Peter Spence is for the ministries and the apostolate of Pope Francis. So, help. Thank you. Our uh, offertory again will be Holy, 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 number 202. <laughs> Holy, O Lord, the fountain of holiness, 
May the Holy Therefore these gifts we pray by sending down the Spirit upon them like we fall, so that they may become to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when something was handed in to the chalice, again he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your love is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, to gather Francis, our Pope Robert, our Bishop, all the clergy and the religious. Remember also Gloria Coriarzo, Andy and Ed Novak, Sam and Nick Mazzola, Father Amano Santiago, who died a few hours ago, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, especially for those who have the healing of addicts. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, your most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint the rest of the Child Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be warriors to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, let us come before the throne of our Father and with confidence present to him all our needs as we say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And he is not to be led into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, May we always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with Amen. your spirit. There is healing when we meet one another with the peace of Jesus Christ. Peace to all of you. La paz. You take and away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith, with love, and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring you condemnation, but help you in mind. Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus our Savior, who calls us to be healers and proclaimers of God's word to our brothers and sisters. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not unworthy that, that you should enter unto my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
now we shall pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sight. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come with me spiritually into my heart, and raise you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We shall now pray the Anima Christi, the prayer for all patients. Prayer to St. Michael the Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, liberate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, I hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call on me, and close to you, hid in you. That with your saints, I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for vocations. Let us ask God to give worthy priests, brothers, and sisters to his holy church. O God, God, we earnestly beseech thee to bless our diocese with many priests, brothers, and sisters who will gladly spend their entire lives to serve our church to make thee known in love. Bless our families, bless our children. Choose from our homes those who are needy for thy work. Amen. Mary, Queen of the Clergy, pray for us. Pray for our priests and religious. Obtain for us many more. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be Be our sins against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with him. The 4th of July prayer is coming up. On Monday, July 4th, Our Lady of Perpetual Pep has an entry in the parade. If you want to participate, participate. Please make sure you have an OLPH t-shirt there for sale at the Mass. We will meet at the intersection of Berry Street and Cedar Street in front of the elementary school. If you want to help decorate the float, meet at 9 a.m. If you're going to be in the parade, please arrive at 10 a.m. And the parade begins at 11 a.m. When the parade is over, we'll return to the elementary school. Um, I'll be in the back of the church if you have any questions. And if you're going to be in the parade, you can pick up one of the cards with the lyrics at all of the times I just mentioned on the back. Thank you. We shall sing God Bless America. And maybe we can sing that. America. 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 Number seven, four, five. Let us pray. Grant me, pray, O oh well, Lord, Father, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain a prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 Almighty God bless you and all the members of your families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is sent and let's go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. I forgot to mention that on the 4th, on Monday, we shall have Mass. So come because it's our Independence Day. Thank you.